Sapphire Edge is now affordable. And here it is. Todd Privis is actually going to show you the affordable version of Gen Art's Sapphire Edge. Thank you, Michael. Thanks for the intro. So yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you Sapphire Edge and, and the affordability behind it, as well as some of the uh, customization we've done to really make this tool work uh, for editors. Can everybody hear me back here, like this? Yes, so r quick, quick uh, raise, of, raise of your hands. How many of you actually have, have heard of Sapphire plugins? Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of background, I'm not going into it too much, but we've been around now for 14 years. We've made uh, really high quality plugins that run on a variety of different platforms. So Flame, Inferno, Avid, Final Cut, After Effects, and you can just see here's a, a broad list of, of some of our customers. So we like to think that it's used by the world's top video creators, um, whether they're doing feature films, commercials, uh, long form or short form television. Our, our product gets used a lot. But one thing that we heard in speaking to a lot of editors is that Sapphire didn't necessarily fit in their workflow because of a couple things. Um, the, the plugins, one thing, were very expensive. Uh, two, uh, when you're editing, you don't necessarily have time to play with all the parameters that we have. So we have, in the Sapphire package, over 200 different plugins. And oftentimes it's overwhelming. So you can open up at a certain plugin and you've got 40 or 50 parameters. So it didn't necessarily fit within the workflow of people who have to cut things quickly and, and realize the importance of using effects, high quality effects, but don't have the time to really sit there and, and noodle and tweak with effects. So in response to that, we developed a new version based on the Sapphire engine, and that's called Sapphire Edge. So what I want to do is basically just give you a little screenshot here. And uh, it's based uh, on a looks browser. So with Sapphire Edge, we've taken some of the existing Sapphire filters. We've streamlined them by removing some of the parameters. We've combined a couple of different effects into a single effect and given you this looks browser to allow you to preview your effect on your footage in real time. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump into Final Cut Pro 7, and I'll show you a bit of Sapphire Edge running inside of Final Cut Pro 7. And then I will jump into Final Cut Pro 10, because we are uh, among some of the uh, early developers to have Sapphire Edge running, uh, uh, supported rather, inside of Final Cut Pro 10. So here I have a, a source of uh, a, a project here. I just want to play this back for you a little bit um, and show you how you can use Sapphire Edge to very quickly and easily add really nice looks to your, to your footage. So I've just got this uh, clip. I'll see if I can play it back with some music. Hopefully it's not too loud. So it's just like a 20 second piece. So that's it, so that's just a, a quick untreated piece and I wanna go ahead and then show you how you can quickly and easily treat this with Sapphire Edge and uh, I'll show you the result and then we'll actually get into the, into the application and, and take a look at that. So here's sort of the before and after of what we did using Sapphire Edge to go ahead and treat this uh, video. There we go. So let me go ahead and jump, jump into Final Cut Pro and, uh, and show you what we did to, uh, to get these results. So I'll go to my, uh, my source clip here. I'll actually remove the, uh, the existing filters and start from scratch and really show you how Edge works. So when I go ahead and uh, go to my video filters tab here, you'll see I've got Sapphire Edge. And it's four filters, but it's literally hundreds of looks. So if I go to this first clip here, let me turn off the music here, I would take a Sapphire Edge lens flare and apply it and once I apply it, you can see here my lens flare controls. So it's definitely a streamlined version of what you get with the full Sapphire lens flare. The full Sapphire lens flare has probably 30 or 40 different parameters. But the real trick here is this preset browser. So by clicking on load preset, this is going to load my preset browser. And it's going to let me toggle through literally you know, dozens of different looks on my clip to see what, what my uh, effect would look like. So it works with lens flare. It works with all the other filters. So I can quickly go through these and say, Maybe I like um, diffraction rays. So I can go ahead and, and then click on load. 
and it's going to apply that filter to my effect. And then I have you know, the, the, the useful parameters to do some animation if I wanted to position the lens flare, if I wanted to make the size bigger or smaller. But the whole idea here is based around these preset looks that you can very quickly and easily um, access and apply to your footage. So if I move to the next section here, I want to take a, a, another Sapphire video filter, and I'll take a film style. So film style is going to go ahead and grade the footage, uh, make it look like it's been shot on film by doing some color correction, adding some vignetting, uh, some saturation, some grain. So when I apply it, again, this is my default setting, and I have some really useful controls here for my overall amount of film style that I can take up or take down. But the real magic is, again, the preset browser. So when I click on load preset, it's going to launch my preset browser, and it's going to easily and quickly allow me to toggle through hundreds of different looks that are uh, available just by going through this with my mouse. And everything is tagged, so you have everything done by genre. You can see on the left side here we have the, the master set of presets, but then you can go into different characteristics, and I can look at, uh, let's say I want you know, some grainy stuff. So, so one of the effects with, uh, or one of the looks with a lot of grain, I can go through these really quickly. And if I'm going for something like an old grainy look, I can say a oh, full light, or full ignis rather, that looks nice. I'm gonna go ahead and click on load, and it's gonna apply that. So again, the idea is very quickly and easily working through um, these different effects with Sapphire Edge and, and applying them uh, in your workflow and letting you really focus on the edit and do sort of minimal tweaking of parameters. Uh, the same thing works with Sapphire Edge transitions as well, which I wanna show. So we have 13 transitions, but again, we have you know, hundreds of different looks. So you can see all the different Sapphire transitions. So I can take a dissolve uh, glint here if I wanted to, maybe drop that between two clips and uh, sort of step through here, and you'll see that, whoop. Go, oh, that's all right, I'll play a, I'll play a pre-rendered one. Um, I'm running some other beta software of ours which might have uh, done this. So I can go through the, uh, this, this clip here, and we've got a, a transition applied. So this is a swish pan here, and if I go ahead and Double click on the swish pan. Again, uh, you have a subset of controls you can adjust. But when I click on load preset, it's actually gonna preview this for me. And I think it's not reading the clip because of my license, but you can see when using a transition, it's actually gonna play back the A side and B side with the transition. So I can go through this very quickly, and I can look at the different types of swish pans I have available, and then select one I like that works sort of with the shot, and go ahead and load that. So now it's applied that to the clip. So again, working very quickly and very easily with all these different looks that are provided um, with inside of Sapphire Edge. And one of the nice things that we have beyond this is, is when you first buy the product, it ships with about 425 different preset looks for all the filters and transitions. But when you buy the product, it comes with a one-year subscription to FX Central. So that's a new part of our website um, that we've just relaunched. And FX Central is our sort of user community where every month we're gonna be uploading uh, new looks. And you can see here in this particular looks tab. These, so you get all these new looks included every month. So when you, when you first buy Sapphire Edge, you're getting, like I said, 300, or sorry, 420 some odd different looks, but every month we're gonna be adding 30 or 40 or 50 different looks. So your collection's always gonna stay fresh. So we're always gonna give you really nice starting points to work with. And then from there, you have the streamlined parameters to adjust things further to get um, some really nice looks. So that really, in a nutshell, is Sapphire Edge. It's, I think it's a very simple product, intuitive product to show and to demo because it really is, it's streamlined. It's based on having these subset of parameters that really get you nice results very quickly and having your preset browser to go ahead and let you select from all these pre-built looks without spending so much time building it by hand. Um, one thing I want to do now is actually close out